with the severity of what's going on with me, I said, I will never live my life ever again, not being authentically who I am and in my purpose. <laughs> yes. <laughs> who am I now? I am, I am that person, I am that chosen person in my lineage to break that yeah. generational curse. And I, I literally had been called to go back to my past, so I moved home after I was sick, I moved home and I realized that I needed to go home to reclaim my power. So I take my, my mom goes, do you want, she goes, she goes, do you want to do an uh, ayahuasca journey with me? And I said, I said, of course. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, ayahuasca. Oh, I'm this. So, so I said to her, I said, yeah, I well, love my mom to uh, do ayahuasca. <laughs> so good for her yeah she was oh my god if your mom did yeah. it and trust me if my mom went and did it at 84 years old she, your mom i'm sure i mean i'm sure it's something that she would do yeah. it's it's a beautiful it's something beautiful that the two of you i think should do together and i did it with my mom so listen what she did i said okay i'll take you i'll, I'll, I'll arrange everything i'll take you where i go and you know what she told me she said nope she says if i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it my way <laughs> and I'm like, well, what's You're your like, way? Where, where are you going to find? Who are you going to find? Okay, mom. Oh, but guess how she wanted to do it? She found this resort down, a retreat center in Ecuador. Oh, she went full out. We went, she went full <laughs> out. We ended up in Gaia Sagrada in Ecuador, Cuenca, Ecuador. Uh, there's a beautiful retreat center there. Uh, Christine Brees owns that center. Uh, she also owns a, med a school of metaphysical sciences up north. Uh -huh. And uh, she found it. We booked it. We went, and wow. man, that was uh, one of the most beautiful experiences I've ever had in my life. It was so beautiful there. We were in the middle of the mountains, yeah. and uh, we were there for a couple weeks, and uh, we Wow, well, and you stayed really, a couple weeks. Yeah. And so you probably journeyed a few times while you were yes, there, right? Yes, we did. We did uh, San Pedro. We did Ayahuasca. We did. It was beautiful. We out. We yeah. full out. Oh, that would be amazing. I mean, I'm just it thinking, like, it would be great to have your kids go and do it, too. And, like, yeah. it could be, like, the my center. My daughter's like, done it once. Oh, okay. But, but, like, but my but, son, I want to get him. Yeah, <laughs> they were beautiful with me and my mom. I mean, literally, because she was the oldest person there. Yeah. On, and, and everybody was like, oh, my gosh. But they handled her with so much care. Like... It was in the mountains, so they, they would pick her up from our, our, our cabin that we stayed in, and they would take her, and they were just so kind, and it was just so beautiful. It was just beautiful. But I'm going to tell you something. I believe in my whole being that my mother had been ordained before, and this whole thing has been seen before we ever hit this earth realm, because yeah. when I got there, it was as though my mom had taken me to my ceremony. Yeah. It was my induction into the work and there was uh oh, that gives me chills and look at it, like my eye <laughs> oh that feels it was it was incredible and there was at one point when i was being prophesized to there uh about who i am and what i do because that's what she does um it, and it was just beautiful and i just remember at one point i was just sitting there with my arms and my i had my head bowed and i could hear voices around me but it was more like whispers like it was almost like i could hear these like do you remember in the wizard of oz in the movie where you could hear the munchkins when oh yeah, the, yeah, 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 and, yeah and they were like oh look she's here she's here yeah. i could hear the she's doing it she's here she's here she's doing it i could just hear the whispers you know of of <sighs> of beautiful angelic beings it felt like it sounded like you know so so and, proud of you that Thank you. Yeah. It was just, it was just, it was just one of the most amazing experiences I've ever had in my life. And then there was a time where there was a hand pan that was played to me, and it was like a reawakening because I kept hearing that she, there were tones that were downloaded in me. Now I'll go back. My father is a jazz musician, uh -huh. and I've been around music all my life, and I have picked up many instruments, and I have picked up many, many. Um, I can sing. Mm -hmm. But I shower sing. <laughs> yeah. But I can sing. I mean, I tone with the sound bones, sound yeah. bowls. Yeah. Um, I have always been musically inclined. I love music. I mean, it just gives me life, you know. Yeah. When I came back from Ecuador, I tell you, every time I heard a wind chime, it was as though I would stop in my tracks and it was, I would feel these electrical waves go through my body. Wow. 
If you like this content, make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment below. And we also have an amazing link right there for some cool product. I know you want to check it out. I know you want to click it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. You can do it. All right. Until next time, have a beautiful, blessed day.